o'clock in the morning. I slept in this morning so I could do a midday hunt. Um, found some scrapes up here that are fresh. So the bucks are getting ready. That's good. Found a fighting rub. So looks like it's a really good spot. I've hunted there before and uh, I really like this spot. So I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna try and sit till two o'clock in the afternoon and just see what happens. It's cool. Oh man. See if we can get it done. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I don't have a lot of property to hunt. I don't have places over here, places over there. And if something goes wrong here, I can just move over there, okay? I have one piece of property, and I have to hunt it, and I have to fill all my tags on that one piece of property. So when things start changing, and you stop seeing deer, it's time to do something different. Don't just sit there and get mad, you know, that ain't going to do nothing. What I do, youth rifle season is coming up, pressure is going to be on the outside edges of our property. I know someone was hunting on the north side, so I step away to the south side, let that pressure push deer into our area. I never leave the outside edges in October until muzzleloader season, and that's coming up next week. But now, early season, you're going to hunt the food sources. Everybody knows that. But as October wanes away, I guess to the mid to late October, the bucks put scrapes on the ground, and that's what I found. Mr. Big to do that. Spike. And here's another tip. You're sitting in the tree stand and you're seeing bucks. Little buck, little buck, little buck. Go ahead and break out the horns. I don't use a giant set of horns. This I shot this buck many years ago. And I use his horns to rattle and I've rattled in several bucks, some of them big bucks, with these horns. So you see some little bucks, late October, you know, get the rattling horns out. Start rattling a little bit. I don't bang them like crazy. I just, you know, let pe let them know I'm there. And it wasn't 20 minutes after that that I seen the big one. I know I didn't get no footage of him. He was just in at the scrape and out. But and that was at 10 minutes till noon. He was out there. So when things start slowing down, change. Don't just sit there and you know insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. If you're you know experiencing an October lull, you're not seeing any deer. Do something different. Full moon, hunt right dead center in the middle of the day. I seen deer the whole time I was out there. So so you get out, you locate the scrapes. It's getting to be late October. You know the scrapes are where the does are. And generally, if you find a concentration of scrapes, a scrape line, which is what I found, sit on that sucker. 
sit on that sucker late October, pre rut and post rut. Stay up, you know, sit near the scrapes. Because the bucks, they're getting fired up. I found a nice, what I call a fighting rub. He had tore this tree in half. It's just pure aggression. You could tell he wasn't stripping. It wasn't a signpost rub. It wasn't a velvet, getting rid of velvet rub. This was right next to a scrape. It's just a rub that he's ready. You know, he's geared up. He's ready to do what God made him to do. He's getting ready. He's frustrated. And this is just perfect sign to see and hunt on late October. Early, early November. Before the rut. Team Fitzgerald Scents, pioneers in the outdoor industry, crusading since 1974. Visit them at www.teamfitzgerald.com for all your scent needs. Sign up for the newsletter and be the first to know about big savings. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And be sure to visit our online store. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.